Tarzan. You want to know about Tarzan? It'll cost you. What do you want to know? Is he really as savage as they say? Aye, my lady. He's every bit as savage as the fiercest ape. It's all in the eyes, cold-blooded and hungry like a beast. Now, when I get to the jungle, how will I recognize him? Hmm. Depends. On what? Oh, for heaven's sake, on what? How will I recognize him? And on what does it depend? Depends on how many other long-haired blokes in loincloths is swinging through the trees. <laughs> but be warned, my lady. I'd take care if I was you. He's not a bloke you want to underestimate. My friend, it is Tarzan who should not underestimate me. old chap. <laughs> uh, I should have been a bit more careful about my landing. <laughs> oh, Daddy, you've been chasing that mosquito for hours. I do believe he's becoming your white whale. Uh, white whale, yes, indeed. Pesky it parasite. doesn't look like a whale. <laughs> oh, no, you, you misunderstand me. I was referring to Moby Dick, the whale in this book. You see, Captain Ahab loses his leg to the white whale and becomes so intent on revenge that his hatred becomes an obsession. Obsessed with hatred? Yes, and in the book, Ahab's hatred costs him his life. Incoming! <laughs> Looks like Daddy's obsession cost him his beakers. Oh dear. Oh, look at this mess. Oh, he got me again! You may have won the battle, my friend, but you haven't won the war. He won the battle, Father. Let's just leave it at that, shall we? Now, what do you say we go to the trading post and get you some new beakers? Uh, splendid idea. Uh, and perhaps some calamine lotion as well? Anything else? There is one other thing. I'll need a guide on this safari. I've heard of a man named Tarzan who's perfectly suited for the job. Tarzan? A safari guide? Oh, I'm sorry, madame. Tarzan will not help you shoot animals. Monsieur, the only thing I plan to shoot animals with is this. Ah, a photographic safari, is it? Well, perhaps Tarzan could be persuaded to help after all. Everything you see, I built myself. Mm. Really, is that so? Indeed. Before I came along, there was nothing here but wild, savage jungle. Is that him? Ah, yes. I suppose you'd like to be introduced. Look out!
you all right? Would you look at this mess? It looks like an elephant stampede came through here. Oh, why are you always so quick to blame elephants? I call them like I see them. Good heavens! I say, is everyone all right? Uh, not to worry. We're all quite safe. Thanks to our dashing hero, Tarzan, is it? Yes. Oh, Tarzan, my friend, thank you once again. Ironically, Lady Waltham and I were just looking for you. Lady Waltham has traveled all the way here for a photographic safari. Oh, photography, how interesting. I'm a bit of an artist myself, you know. Really, how fascinating. She personally requested you as her guide. Me? Oh, Tarzan is the best guide in the jungle. He'll give you an excellent tour. Oh, I know. He came highly recommended. What do you want to see? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Everything. See why my brother loved it so. Is something wrong? No, nothing. Nothing at all. In fact, this is all going exactly as I'd hoped. Ah, nothing like a brand new set of test tubes. Of course, you old soldiers are just as welcome to stay. <laughs> you don't mean to offend. Oh, it is good to have a trunk. <laughs> a peanut. Someone's a mind reader. What? Oh, a magical moving peanut? Even more delicious. Oh! Why do I always get the brown ones? Aren't there any red ones left in there? Hey, who ate all the red ones? Wow! <gasps> Tell me, Tarzan, living in the jungle must be quite an extraordinary experience. The adventure, the excitement, living by the brutal laws of the jungle. Brutal laws of the jungle? Hmm, you know. Survival of the fittest, an eye for an eye, that sort of thing. An eye for an eye. Revenge. No, you must have learned all about that from the animals. Animals don't understand revenge. Only humans do. <laughs> of course. And we are humans, aren't we? Tarzan, don't you think we should uh, take a little break? It's tea time, you know. Surely Jane must have taught you all about tea. Yes, Jane likes tea. Well, naturally, she's English. I say, why don't we collect her and all take tea together? Jane! Jane, are you here? Is something wrong? Jane's gone. Yes. And I'm afraid she's in grave danger. How do you know? Because I put her there. Or rather, my valet did. He's also kidnapped the professor and uh, your animal friends, that elephant and the gorilla. But why? An eye for an eye, Tarzan. You killed someone who was very close to me. What? I, I have never killed anyone. Oh, come now. Think back. Jane and the professor didn't come to Africa alone, did they? I didn't kill Clayton. It was an accident. Really? You know, during all those wretched months following Clayton's death, my only comfort was planning your demise. Right now, somewhere out there in your lovely jungle, each member of your family is in a trap. 
If you hurry, you might be able to save most of them. Your fight is with me, not my family. Let them go. Oh, but the point is to make you suffer the way I suffered. Right, well, we really should wrap up this conversation because, frankly, Tarzan, time is of the essence. <laughs> Tell me where they are. Kill me and they die too. I'll deal with you later. Oh, oh, and one more thing, um, just to make the game even more interesting. <laughs> this is... Poison? Yes. <laughs> Oh, and the antidote is, um, over there. A place I've christened Clayton's Peak. Now, you can either save yourself or save your family. <laughs> it is very doubtful you could do both. So, you see, you have a choice. Suffer the way I did, or suffer the way my brother did. <laughs> I think it's quite fair, really. This solves nothing. Oh, tick-tock, tick-tock. <laughs> I don't know whose idea of a joke this is, but I am not laughing. Do I look like a nest to you? Hey, shoot, move it! <gasps> Listen, buddy, you gotta believe me. There's a whole body attached to this head. Help me! Somebody help me! Help! Turk. Have you ever had ape? We're awfully hairy, you know. Do you know where the others are? Others? I'm not the only one? Oh, you're a lifesaver, buh. D. Uh, oh, I should have known better. Mother taught me three basic lessons. Look both ways before crossing the plane. Don't slurp your river water. And never follow a strange bee that. <laughs> all in all, it's not the worst way to go. Being torn apart by angry crocodiles, it's, it's kind of macho. <laughs> what am I saying? Help! 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 <laughs> Tentor, you're okay. You're safe now. Tarzan! Oh, thank goodness you're here. Because I really need to share my feelings right about now. I'm sorry, Tantor. I have to find the others. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Tarzan, are, are you feeling okay? Time's running out. Even poisoned, he moves quickly and efficiently. I've never seen anything like him. He is a remarkable man. Man? He isn't a man. He's a monster! A savage, deadly monster! Yes, ma'am. A monster. Quite. <clears throat> you do well not to forget that, Hobson. My brother did, and it cost him his life. Well, this is a bit of a spot now, isn't it? I'm afraid I'm done for this time. No Tarzan to save me now. Besides, I'm probably just an annoyance. The meddling father-in-law. Professor. Oh, Tarzan. Oh, oh, I knew you'd make it in time. I never doubted you for a moment. <laughs> Don't worry. I'll have you free in a... Oh. <gasps> Tarzan, what's the matter? I do believe our hero's starting to feel the poison. It won't be long now, Tarzan. <sighs> this won't bring your brother back. And it won't make you feel any better. Well, thank you for your concern, but let me be the judge of that. <sighs> Tarzan, this boat is about to fall. Get out of the way! Uh, hmm, he's stronger than I'd anticipated.
There's still Jane, Tarzan, and of course the poison. You're not that fast. Tarzan? Stay here. Uh, yes, yes, D don't worry about me. You go find Jane. Do you know where she is? Uh, I wish I did. I have to find her before it's too late. Good luck, Tarzan. I I'm sure you'll succeed. You always do. And you save yourself. Let's face it, you have no more than a few precious minutes of life left. But there it is, Tarzan. Clayton's peak and the antidote. All you have to do is go and get it. Oh, but then Jane would die. Oh dear, tough choice. No choice at all. for naught, Tarzan. What with the antidote being right here in my hand. Tarzan? What are you doing? Saving you. I thought you were. Get away from him! No, don't you worry. Everything's gonna be all right. Daddy, he's waking up. Uh, what happened? 
You're getting better, that's what happened. You're going to make a full recovery. You're going to be all right. But the poison. Someone gave you the antidote in time. Who? You. You would have sacrificed yourself to save me. I now know you couldn't have killed Clayton. And if I hadn't been so wrapped up in my own hatred, I would have seen that. There, there are no words to express how sorry I am. Those words will do just fine. Let's join TJ and the gang next as they take a break in recess on Disney Cinemagic.